From the perspective of outer space, the Earth appears as a striking blue planet, with an impressive 71% of its surface covered by water. However, it is unfortunate that not every place on Earth has a sufficient supply of water suitable for drinking or agricultural use. Hello, everyone! Do you think living in the desert is tough? The relentless scorching sun, the sparse vegetation, and the frequent sandstorms. It's fair to say that deserts are far from being hospitable environments. Fortunately, humanity strives to change this situation wherever possible, endeavoring to bring water to the driest regions of the world. To make this a reality, significant efforts, substantial investments, and bold engineering concepts are sometimes required. Welcome to our channel, everyone! Today, we are going to introduce one of those massive projects. The Kachi Canal Project In northern Baluchistan, Pakistan, water scarcity is a critical issue. The scarcity means that the region has a low population density and slow economic development. For instance, despite the discovery of large natural gas reserves in Darabukti district, it remains one of the least developed areas in Pakistan. The barren lands of this region yield poor harvests, and in many places, nothing can be cultivated at all. Without water, development is simply impossible. In 2002, Pakistani authorities decided to change this dire situation by embarking on an ambitious construction project. The maximum flow capacity of the Kachi Canal is 6,000 cusacks, which translates to 600,000 cubic meters of water per hour. In just 60 minutes, this volume of water could fill 272 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Of course, the local people's dream is not about swimming pools, but about securing water without relying on the rare rainfall. It was expected that within a few years, northern Baluchistan would be covered in green fields with the sound of clear streams. The original plan was to achieve this by 2008, quite some time ago now. However, the construction soon came to a halt. The reason, as often happens, was a lack of funding, and there were even calls to abandon the project altogether. Imagine how disheartening it would be to have a cold glass of water on a hot day offered to you, only to have it taken away. Fortunately, the Kachi Canal project was not abandoned in the end. Now, over 20 years later, it is clear that the canal is nearing completion and will soon be operational. This means that a green revolution is about to begin under the scorching sun of northern Pakistan. Once the canal construction is completed, it is expected to irrigate 713,000 acres of barren or partially arable land. Since 2017, the canal has already been fulfilling its role by supplying water to regions in southern Punjab and northern Baluchistan, while construction continues on other sections. Features of the Canal For the suffering people, where should the water come from? Just 150 kilometers away flows the mighty Indus River, so securing water is not a problem at all. The Kachi Canal begins at the Tansa Barrage, the most crucial dam on the Indus River. Until recently, this dam controlled three operational canals, but with the construction of the Kachi Canal on the right bank of the Indus, it became the fourth canal in this water network. The first section of the canal was opened in 2017, but construction continues on the other sections. The work is managed by WAPDA, Water and Power Development Authority, an organization specializing in the construction of water infrastructure like dams and canals. The Kachi Canal project was planned to proceed in three stages. The first stage involves the construction of a 399-kilometer-long main canal. The main section of this canal, which is 305 kilometers long, is in Punjab and already supplies water to local farmers. 
This alone is a remarkable achievement, isn't it? Additionally, a 94-kilometer section extends through Baluchistan, reaching Darabukti district. However, to transform the desert into a blooming garden, the main canal alone is far from sufficient. From the main canal, a 105-kilometer-long network of irrigation branches extends. This is just a small part of the entire auxiliary canal system, which spans 1,500 kilometers. A massive amount of work remains for the construction of this vast canal network, which is planned to be carried out in the second and third stages of the project. The main canal will be extended by an additional 100 kilometers, and around it, a 1,400-kilometer distribution network will be laid. This distribution network is expected to supply water to the Bolan, Nasirabad, and Jalmagsi districts, with local people eagerly anticipating the green revolution they have dreamed of. With the ability to grow more sorghum, wheat, legumes, and oil seeds, they can escape poverty. Thus, the canal brings not only water, but also economic benefits. The project's annual revenue is estimated to be 19.7 billion rupees, approximately 71 million dollars. Considering the total cost of the project is 290 million dollars, it is expected to pay for itself in about four years. Not bad, right? When completed, the Kachi Canal will be the largest irrigation canal in Pakistan, making it a true mega-project for the country. Two million people will experience a significant improvement in their lives and will come to know the immense joy of having unlimited access to water. Construction The route for the canal has been meticulously selected so that the water naturally flows toward the town of Sui in Baluchistan, following the force of gravity. This design eliminates the need for pump stations and extensive pipeline networks. Nevertheless, constructing a 50-kilometer irrigation canal in this dry, roadless desert region poses significant engineering challenges. Imagine working in a tractor's cab under the scorching sun and you'll understand the immense difficulties faced by the construction workers. In the first stage, the land is prepared with excavators removing the topsoil and digging the future canal's channel. The excavated soil is loaded onto dump trucks and transported away from the construction site. This means temporary roads must be built to allow heavy machinery to move smoothly. Some of these roads will become permanent, serving canal maintenance, crop transport and other purposes. Thus, the Kachi Canal is not just a water supply system, but also a crucial infrastructure development project for the region. The canal's bottom has a trapezoidal shape with a gentle slope, tailored to the soil characteristics of the area. In rocky terrain, a canal with vertical sides would be feasible, but in this region, the sides are sloped to prevent bank collapse. Additionally, to prevent accidents, the slopes must be reinforced. During the project's first stage, 351 kilometers of the 399 kilometer main canal were reinforced. The Kachi Canal traverses arid land where it rarely rains. This means all the water flowing through must be absorbed by the ground. To prevent precious water from seeping into the soil, the canal's bottom and slopes are leveled, compacted, lined with waterproof materials, and then concreted. This ensures that, aside from the inevitable evaporation, all the water reaches its destination, ready to be distributed to fields and other uses. In other words, not a single drop of water can be wasted. However, the canal requires more than just a water channel to function effectively. For instance, bridges for cars and trains are built over the canal to allow for easy crossings. Furthermore, to intake and distribute water to surrounding areas, branch channels and pipelines run along the main canal. Most of the distribution network consists of small open channels, but in some hilly regions, 56-inch, approximately 142 centimeters diameter pipes draw water from the main canal. 
Regulating gates with sluices are installed along the canal's entire length to control the water flow, ensuring a consistent supply to consumers. An automated control system has been developed for water distribution, making irrigation fair and transparent. Additionally, the project includes discharge facilities, diversion works, and drainage systems. All these structures are built from concrete and steel, requiring significant time and high-quality workmanship from the laborers. Over 900 various structures have been built along the main canal of the Kachi Canal, and the number is expected to grow as work continues in stages 2 and 3. Everything seemed to be progressing smoothly, but in 2022, the project faced another crisis. Severe flooding damaged parts of the canal, necessitating reconstruction of certain sections at an additional cost of $30 million. Most critically, this damage caused further delays to the extended first stage of the project. Once again, it was as if the glass of water had been snatched away from the thirsty. Nevertheless, construction continues and we hope for a swift completion. This video is coming to an end. Thank you all for watching. We also appreciate your likes and reposts on social media. Your support motivates us to create more content for you. A special thanks to those who use the Super Thanks feature. Your support is particularly helpful during these challenging times for our channel. While we say goodbye for now, we promise to return soon with new content. See you soon! And goodbye.